Well, hi everybody, it's Sandy Alnock, and today I'm going to make some throwback cards using sketches to create my designs. I used to use pattern paper a lot, and I haven't much lately, but I bought this one from Sunny Studios because I liked the colors of it. Uh, it's two-sided paper and has different patterns on one side and the other. Some are starburst, some of them are graded gradations and stuff, but there's polka dots in there. I love polka dots too. I also bought a Sunny Studio stamp set and a Hello Bluebird that were pretty similar. And you might have noticed there's a lot of companies doing airplanes and little characters in airplanes. There's things that are trends that companies don't actually copy each other. They just all are on the same trend. It takes months to develop a stamp set. So just because one company did it and another did something similar doesn't mean they copied each other at all. So don't be mad at them. Just decide which one you like better. And I'm going to show you a lot from both of these so you can see them. I stamped them first onto the pattern paper because I'm going to do some paper piecing. And I stamped each of them because I needed to make a whole set of thank you cards. I send a lot of thank you cards, especially to my patrons. And my thank you stash is completely out. So I needed to get a bunch of them in there. And this was a great way to do it. So I started out by stamping my images onto some Nina cardstock for my Copic coloring first. And I'm not putting the colors on the screen because you can color these any kind of way that you want. I am just coloring them so that I can have some color around the area where the pattern paper is going to be. And going to glue my little airplane right on top here. I like the Sunny Studios set for a couple particular things. One, this, the plane is a little bit smaller. It has a, an underbelly to it so that you have a little more interest to it. And the other stamp set, this one is from Hello Bluebird, didn't have the open cockpit. So I actually... I know this is going to sound like sacrilege. I cut off that little piece. I just took some scissors and I whacked it off. It's not going to scream. There's no blood. Just going to tell you that. So you can modify your stamps. But one of the things I liked about the one from Sunny Studios is that there was the white underbelly. So I'm going to add that one to this. When I do, you can do the, add that with your coloring. You can add it with your paper piecing, whatever you want to do. And so I'm going to do the coloring on this one as well in the same kind of a way. I'm going to color some parts metal and then other parts uh, just leave for the, the paper piecing section. The dog, of course, is going to turn into Vienna because all the dogs on my cards turn into my kiddos. So there you go. She's got two big black spots for her eyes and black ears. And then I'll add the eyeballs back in white pen. One of the other fun things about the Hello Bluebird version of this stamp set is that there are little birds with it. Look how cute they are flying along. Do you ever wonder what birds think of airplanes? Like, do you think that they think it's an actual bird? Do they get annoyed with it? Do they think we're like interrupting their, their flying time or something? I don't know. So with this stamp set also, the animals don't have a second arm. So I drew in second arms on each one of them. And that little plate in front of there, I made a windshield. I think it's normally maybe supposed to be part of the plane, but I made it clear. And depending on how deeply you stamp the animals in there, you can, you know, kind of make their, even just their heads peek out and not have their whole, uh, her whole chest sticking out as well. So there's lots of different fun things you can do with the stamp sets. Um, you can do the same thing with both of them, actually. And especially if you're going to be paper piecing on top of it, you don't even have to mask, that, mask out that part down at the bottom. So then came the making of a whole bunch of cards. And so I started off with my black cardstock and just using my score buddy to fold them all in half and get everything ready. Um, the liners on the inside are just white cardstock liners. So if you ever wondered how I do that with my dark cards. You can also just write inside with a, a white pen or a gel pen that works well on that color paper. And then the I sketch I chose was from one of my favorite sketch sites, Mojo Monday, and it's number 511. And they no longer make sketches, but they do have all their old sketches there. So lots to choose from. And what I did was cut out all the papers and put all the layers underneath of them and add the base layers onto my cardstock. And then I was just mixing and matching the pieces. So the panel that goes across, the rectangle at the top, the planes for the paper piecing, 
all of that is mix and match. And then on most of them, I'm waiting until I get the card assembled to see what color I'm going to add onto the scarves or things because I didn't know that when I was doing my coloring. And on some of them, like this little guy where I already made his scarf yellow, I put him on a yellow card so I'd make sure I brought some of that color from the base of the card into the picture. Here's a little tip for paper piecing. If you're not really good with the fussy cutting and the little scissor action, then go around the edges of whatever you're going to glue it onto because then when you use your adhesive to glue it down, and I'm using a um, an easy runner, that's what this one's called, and then when you use your your tape to glue it down, if you miss a little part or if you cut off a little too much, then you'll see only a little bit of that red color underneath. The rest of the adhesive that I generally use, in, in addition, of course, to the big roll of the precious, the dimensional adhesive, is my old tape runner, my old ATG gun. This is like years and years and years old. Those who watched my OWH videos all those years ago will know Big Red or Old Red now, as I call her, because she's getting very old. But I use that for the majority of my adhesive, and unless it gets to a little tiny thing that I use for like that little paper piecing type stuff. So now I'm just assembling all the pieces, trying to figure out what angle I want the airplane to be flying at. And then since I'm me and I overdo things, I added some detail to it and I got my white pen out and kind of went crazy. And I, on some of these, I do dots on them. On some of them, I do stitching around them. But since I wasn't doing coloring, I felt like I needed to do something else to it because I'm used, used to putting a lot of TLC into the coloring on something. And this one doesn't have really very much coloring. It didn't really do anything to it. And that's one of the reasons why I don't do these kind of cards much anymore because it took me to make these 10 cards way longer to do 10 cards than it would take me to color 10 cards, 10 scenes. And I know that might be the opposite for other people. It's going to be faster and easier for you to assemble cards like this than it will be to color them. And that is totally fine. But that's one of the reasons why I choose to make what I make and, and do it the way that I do it because it works better for me. And I encourage you to use whatever works better for you. So you can see me doing all of the crazy assembly and then all of the pen work and all the stitching and everything, black stitching, white stitching, going all the way around things, making dots all over the place. And yes, I mean, it's fun to do all of this. I really do enjoy it. It just takes a long time to do. When I was thinking about what sentiment to put on this, the Sunny Studio set didn't have a thank you. So I used the thanks from the Hello Bluebird set and my Catherine Pooler block. If you haven't used one of these Catherine Pooler blocks before, they're kind of nice. They have a really soft edge to the outside of them. Not that a regular block is going to hurt your hand or anything, but there's just something that feels elegant about them. And uh, yeah, if you ever need a new block, which we don't replace very often, that might be something to consider. So for the other set with the Hello Bluebird planes and, and animals, I decided to flip the sketch around. So the horizontal banner goes across, or the horizontal bar goes across the top instead of the bottom. And the rectangle that used to stick out at the upper left now hangs down at the bottom right. And I made it into a banner just by cutting a little angle out of it. And my images, you'll notice, are cut into rectangles. They're squares, actually. In, so you can do that. You don't have to use a circle just because a sketch to use a circle and change it up. That makes it a little more exciting, I think, as you're making your cards, because you're going to end up with a little bit difference to the cards. They don't all feel the same. You'll notice one little thing that I have out here that I didn't use before was glossy accents because my tape runner didn't get into the like little corners. So when I had a little corner that tipped up or something that didn't get all the way glued down, just going to add a little tiny drop of glossy accents underneath of there because I don't like having a gajillion glues around my house. So glossy accents serves not only as an embellishment, but as an adhesive. For my 10th card, I'm mixing it up even more by making it a horizontal card. And yes, I will straighten out that yellow banner. It's a little crooked on there right now. And I decided to add clouds behind my scene so that I'd have a little more interest up there. I did some fussy cutting to get around that banner, but you could actually, and it would be recommended to do it more simply and glue the banner on. 
rather than having to do the fancy cutting that I did with a knife because that was a little more work than it was worth. But the card is still adorable. The all cards are all adorable and I hope that you learned something from this video. If you liked it, then please do me a favor and click that like button. Share it with your friends if you know somebody else who would be interested in such a thing. And click on the links in the doobly-doo if you need any of the supplies. They're also listed over my blog along with stills of each one of the cards. And I will see you guys later. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.